Hey there, my name's Fiona. Just wanted to reach out. We're all having trouble these days with COVID, trying to find things to do inside, things we don't normally do. And uh, I decided, being a very unartistic person, that I would try paint by numbers. Now it seems, you say paint by numbers, I know I think of children, but they're actually can be incredibly difficult and take a lot of time. So what I did first is I went to Michael's and I bought um, the Artist Loft. Um, they come in uh, various sizes and various, uh, obviously various paintings that you can do. The one that I did the first was the, the Tiger. And with uh, Artist Loft, you get the, obviously the box. Inside the box is a picture of what your painting should look like, which is pretty incredible because to me it looked like a picture of a, a photograph of a tiger and I didn't think you could possibly make your painting look like that. They also provide you with this, which is the painting and all the numbers on it. So when you're doing your painting, it can get really difficult at times to see the numbers because the parts are very small. So they provide you with this so that you compare it to your painting and you can find out what number you should be painting. So when I um, mention numbers, it has to do with the paints that you receive um, with your uh, painting paper. You get brushes. Um, brushes here and they also provide you with a wooden frame so uh, this is just shows you how to put it together and what it is it's just a, a wooden frame here and here to keep it together and then you can hang it so as I said the first one I did was the tiger and again I'm going to show you the photo of the tiger from artist loft and now I'm going to show you the photo of the, or the painting of the tiger. So here it is completed. You can see the wooden frame here and here that they provide you. You can hang it. But it's pretty incredible when you look at that. I didn't think it would be possible for this painting to look so like a photo. So if I come over here and grab the photo just one more time, you can see that they're incredibly close. So I was really, really pleased. So I continued on and I did a few more. As you can see, we had the power again framed. Um, I also did a kitten. Let me just put this back. Again, artist sloth. This is the box the kitten came in. And now do take note. The kitten on this has green eyes. And I decided that it might look better with blue eyes. So this again is the photo that they send with you that your picture is supposed to look like. And so what I did is I painted the eyes blue onto the photograph to see what it looked like. And decided that I preferred that to the um, green eyes or brown eyes that are in this. Again, they provided me with the photo, the... Uh, the thing with the, the paper with the numbers so that you know what you're doing. Paint, again, another set of brushes, and the wooden frame. I don't have the painting of this to show you because I gave it to my granddaughter. She really, really liked it, so I gave it to her. So, I carried on because, as you know, COVID's been around for a while, and I ended up doing in total two, four, six of the artist's loft. And then after the holidays, um, it was really difficult to get anything from Michael's because it was only essential things that were open and they didn't have a lot of stock. So I went to Amazon and I purchased what appeared to be the equivalent product. It was, um, they're $19.99 at Michael's for the Artist Loft and they were 21, this one was $21.99. So it's by, um, it was by Boshan on Amazon, B-O-S-H-U-N. This is what they provided me. Again, a photo of what the painting should look like. So it's very small compared to the other one. Again, they provide the paint with the numbers on it and the brushes. 
The only thing is, though, is when I received it, it was folded. So instead of being rolled in a box, it came in a flat package and it had been folded. So they did provide me with the numbers, um, but they were like, so if you lost your place. However, it was so small that it was practically impossible. So this is what the bow shone ended up looking like. Now they don't provide a frame. Again, as I said, it was folded. And if you look on the back, you can still see the creases in it, even though I tried really hard to flatten it out. Now, let me show you this, and then the photograph. Okay, so this is what it should look like. Now, it is dark, but when you compare it to the painting, it's so dark on the painting. So it's, it's real, I was really, really disappointed because I thought it was going to be a really beautiful picture with the black and white, but definitely disappointed. And as I said, we ordered this through Amazon from Boshan, B-O-S-H-U-N. So I completed that and then I decided I would do another picture. I ordered again from Amazon, but this time I ordered from iFlow Decor. That's E I F L O W Decor. And the one that I did was, I picked was this. Again, a tiny little picture, different um, uh, company, the iFlow company. And again, it came and it had been folded. So I actually ironed the canvas with a towel, but it still, the folds didn't come out. However, I have to say that the picture really turned out quite beautifully. I'm very proud of this. So a different, as I said, different uh, manufacturer, company, iFlow Decor. It's kind of hard to show you because they don't send you a frame. So there's the actual, there's the photo again, and there's the painting. So you can see. Now they do send you these little clips that you can clip on, and then you can hang it. Um, However, as I said, the, the, the canvas is, is creased um, and the quality of the paint and the brushes, I had to um, use the brushes from the Artist Lofts um, boxes because I found that uh, the uh, ones from both companies, from Beauchon and iFlow Decor, um, basically fell apart, so I had to use. And the same with the quality of paint, wasn't nearly as good. So, just to let you know, if you're looking for something to do, I would definitely recommend Artist Loss. Um, it's not something I've seen on Amazon. As I said, the only two uh, companies that I found on Amazon were Boshan and iFlow Decor. Um, so, I would really recommend going to uh, um, try and find Artist Loss. As I said, we found that through Michael's. So, Next time I do a painting, I'll pop back on and let you know how I did.